So our next speaker, Dr. Corayos Durán, is going to talk about the conference value. So we need FUT to fix the problems of FUT. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> uh, I have two presentations, uh, coverage value and grade calculator. They are related to each other. So I combine them. It will be more easy to present. Yes, we have still <laughs> green parts from my clinic. Uh, uh, but what happens in Istanbul now? I want to share with you. These are from Maps, Google Maps. 1977, 2009, I don't know how it looks like today. Uh, we are all harvesting Istanbul Green every day. We are losing control. And when we are losing control, what happens? We started to see this type of donor areas every day nearly. Uh, the, there's a big competition in Turkey. The graph numbers are getting higher and higher. And while people trying to help their patients, what they are doing, they are losing their control. So. To prevent these cases, we need an objective criteria that can be understandable by everybody. It should be scientific. I'm taking the photos. I'm trying to find the coverage. Uh, you can see at the left photo, I can see the ground. The coverage is not perfect. But at the right side, you see density is higher and the thickness is better. So coverage is related by two components, density and thickness. It's the same in geometry when we are trying to find the area. We are multiplying two sides, A side and B side. That means for an area and for a coverage, you need the hair number and the thickness of the hair. 14 years ago, James Harris, uh, he mentioned the same thing in New York. Visual density, which means the coverage, uh, related by the uh, hair shaft and the number of the hairs. These are the most frequent questions. My patients are asking to me every day, what's my donor capacity, how many grafts do I need for a good coverage? And I think this is, this is the heart of FUE. We, have to, we should answer, if we can answer these two questions, we can fix everything. These are the tools. I'm answering this question by using these tools. At the bottom you see a caliber meter. And we are, I'm checking the caliber of the hair from different areas, temporal, parietal, and at the right side, you see a Dermolite uh, from call instruments. I'm taking the photos of the patients uh, from temporal, parietal, and occipital areas. And at the left side, you see an, a graft calculator. It's an application. I will talk about it later. I'm taking the photos. And we are counting uh, different areas and how many hairs we have per square centimeter in the temporal area. Uh, and uh, what's the caliber? Because before the cutting is here, we are checking the caliber of the hairs. Some of my girls are blind because of this. They are counting <laughs> <laughs> every case is every day. Uh, so these two components, the number of the hair and the caliber of the hair. And when you multiply these factors, we, need, we can create a criteria. I'm calling that coverage value. For example, in that square, you see 108 hairs per square centimeter with the caliber of 50 micron, uh, which is 0.05 millimeter. When I multiply this, I'm finding 5.4. Why 5.4? We, 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 we are discussing this with Jose for a long time. I want to thank him also. He helped me from the beginning. He supported me. And he's using also this system in his daily practice now. Uh, we are changing the information. He said, Dr. 5.4 is the real number for the coverage. Why? Because when we are placing 45 graphs, normally we are doing this density with the average of 2.2 hair. This is our normal uh, average in the daily practices. With the 55 micron, this is the average of European patient uh, caliber, uh, the thickness hair. And we are finding 5.4. I can show you this case is, uh, the, this is the coverage of 5.4, one of my cases. I want to share it to show you. Not a perfect coverage. If I make it wet, probably you can see the skin, but an acceptable coverage. So I started to use this information in my daily practice. Before the surgery is when the patients are coming. Before the surgery, I am checking the, their hyper. I'm finding the number of the hair, the thickness of the hair, and I find that, for example, 8.4 is coverage before the surgery. And when he comes back after one year, two years, 
later and then I'm checking again I, I see a wet change you see how the white dots and his coverage value is seven after the surgery so I, I started to use this system uh, to obtain the donor capacities of my patients I choose two different cases they are extreme cases they look same but the left side patient is a poor donor area right side patient has a perfect donor area and another problem safe donor area is not exist. We are losing the density in the donor area. And according to my observations, we are losing 10 to 15 percentage of coverage value in our lifetime. It's not the same when we are 15. We are losing all the part, not only this part, this part, all of them, but different percentages. So we, I want to start with the left side patient. First, for example, for his left temporal area, I am finding his coverage value. How I am finding it? I say the number of the hair multiplying with the caliber. The caliber we know, 53 micron. Density we know, how many follicles per square centimeter, 72. Calculated density we know, 2.06, the number of hair per follicle. And when I multiply density and calculate the density, I'm finding the number of the hair per square centimeter. And when I multiply with the caliber, 52 micron, I'm finding 7.8. This is coverage value. His coverage value at his left temporal area. And I know he may lose 15 percentage by time. And probably when he will be 70 or 80, um, it will be, his coverage value will be 6.63. And if my limit is 5.4, that means I can change his coverage value maximum 1.23. So by using the same formula, I can find uh, how many grafts I can extract per square centimeter. How? We need estimated tape per graft average during our surgeries. For example, I am trying not to pass over his calculated density. For example, if his calculated density, the average of hair per follicle is 2.06, I'm trying to be lower than that number, like, or the same, 2.06. Uh, um, this is my hair per, estimated tape per graft average. But, if you want to use this system, you also should know during your extraction, you should know hay per graft averages during your surgery. I will share how I'm doing that. And if caliber is the same, and by using the same formula, if, I, how, uh, if I, I'm trying to find the number of follicles that I can extract per square centimeter to change his coverage value 1.23. And in this case, it's 11. And if his left temporal area, that means I can extract 11 grafts from his left uh, temporal area, which is 35 centimeters square. When I multiply this number with the centimeter square area, I'm finding the number of follicles that I can extract from his left temporal area, which is 392. But you can adapt this. For example, your estimated hair per graft is 2.06, but the, his skin is hard, the patient is hard, is, everything is hard but your average is 1.8. This is something that you are not expecting before the surgery. Then you can adapt this number according to that. So according to your hypergraph average, you can adapt the system. When I repeat it for the left parietal and occipital, the same system, and the right side, you see his total donor capacity is 5,812 grafts. And his total fold number is 19. And his donor capacity is only 30, 0.5 percentage of his total follicle number in his donor area. But this is another case, the right side patient. His coverage value is 14.6 at his left temporal area with the caliber of 60 micron. When I repeat the systems, the same system, parietal, occipital, right side, I'm finding 12,885. This is 56 percentage of his total follicle number. The first one is 30, this is 56. I'm using the same formula in the recipient areas. You can see uh, 50 micron hair. The number of hair is 80, 100, and 120. You can see the coverage values at the bottom. 5.4 is between something uh, with the second and the third one. And I want to show you, if I change the caliber, just I will make it with the same hair numbers, I will make it 60 and you will see the change. And 70, you will see the change. When I go back, 60, 50, 60, 70, you can see the coverage, how it coverage value changes and how it looks changes. Another case, 5,000 grad, I placed 
120 centimeters square with the average of 2.21, and you can see the coverage values of different areas here. Grad calculator. Uh, so I need grad calculator to use the system in my daily practice. What is it? It's an application. You can download it from Apple Store. It's free. And uh, it's easy to check the number of hairs, hair per graph averages during your extraction also. And you can check also your speed. Uh, and you can check your number of hair per, uh, for example, for temporal hair, how many grafts you extracted by using this system. And during my daily practice, uh, I'm extracting the grafts and my nurses are checking the graft quality. It has a voice command, so she is checking the graft and says, for example, two, three, two, three, and I am mirroring that screen uh, to another screen close to, I can see it, so during my extraction, I have a chance to check my hyper graft averages, so I can adapt my pipe size. If I am higher than uh, expected, I can change my pipe size. If I lower, I can increase the, my pipe size. This is new application, Grad Calculator. You can use this application during your operations. You can activate your time, and you can check your speed. You can check your hyper graph averages. And if you want to see different areas, for example, temporal area, you can see your average. And if you wanted to learn your statistics, you can touch your statistics, and you can see all different areas temporal area, parental area, or if you have more than one operator, you can change the operator and you can activate and you can see the statistics of uh, this new operator. Here you can see Jose and all different areas. And at the same time, it has voice command. If you have internet connection, it's using Siri. You can activate your voice command and you don't have to touch it. You can leave the application here, and when you count three, four, two, this application is counting itself. And at the end of the surgery, you can prepare all your statistics and sending an email to you, and if you want to your patient, and you can check all your statistics and you can send all this information to your patient. Ten years ago in 2005, 2000, no, 2007, 8, when, we are, when people are talking about FUE, they are saying, okay, you can do FUE maximum 1,000 grams. You can do FUE maximum 2,000 grams. Today I hear, I hear some experts here, experts are mentioning that, okay, FUE maximum 3,000 grams. Uh, I hear more than 1,000, over 5,000 grad patients. More than 1,000 I'm talking about. And I want to share some of the donor areas. I am using the same system, how they look like. Up you can see uh, a patient and extracted 6,673 grafts by, uh, and with the average of 2.25. And you can see how it looks like after five months. 6,000 graft with the average of 2.21. After five months, his donor, how it looks like. Uh, 6,000 grafts in one operation, one, uh, all, these are all in one surgeries, but in two days. Uh, 1.99 is average. It's, it's, this is a poor donor, for example, uh, 5,044 grafts with the average of 211, 5,600 grafts with the 186 average. Uh, two operations in this case, we extracted uh, 6,900 grafts with the average of 196, and you can see after six years, this is after six years how it looks like uh, his donor area now. Uh, we are preparing for this one. I know it's hard. You have to share your patient hair. You have to uh, check the uh, caliber from different areas. And the caliber is not also the same caliber. For example, when, you, I, when I choose one hair from here and when I choose another hair close to it, I see that the calibers are also not the same. Uh, and what happens with the caliber meter? Uh, it's, it has a pressure over the, the hair. 
and uh, when you are trying to find the caliber, because these are very small uh, numbers, and sometimes some hair, flexible hair, is affected by that pressure. So, what's up going on? I'm working with uh, uh, three companies uh, for four months, uh, and robotic system company, uh, optic system company, and IT company, and we are. We probably, uh, I will make a new presentation in Lisbon. Uh, we are trying to improve a system that uh, it will be a robotic system, and uh, you will get every information. You you can. Uh, my girls will not be blind anymore. I hope. <laughs> and we will create a new system for everybody, and it will be affordable. I'm, I'm trying to make it cheaper as possible because this techn high technology, the new technology. So. Uh, we are waiting all of you to Lisbon, and probably if I can finish, I will make the first time presentation of this NIST robotic system calculating every detail in the donor area. Thank you very much.